Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Real Sports Updates here. Back again with another video. Um, breaking news. Uh, Tyreek Hill is now a Miami Dolphin. Um, the Chiefs traded Tyreek Hill to the uh, Miami Dolphins for five picks. Um, you know, which uh, one of those picks uh, is a uh, first rounder in, in this uh, upcoming draft. Um a first rounder, a second rounder, and I think uh, fourth and fifth and uh, sixth or something like that. But um, five draft picks for Tyreek Hill, the, the NFL's uh, fastest receiver. Um, all of this kind of came up. Um, I don't want to say it came up out of nowhere because obviously this has been something that, um, you know, the, the Chiefs and, and Tyreek Hill have been working on. But it kind of came up. The reporting kind of came out of nowhere. You know, it just... Uh, the, the the first inkling of it was an hour before the trade uh, actually got reported. It said that uh, Tyreek Hill had permission to seek a trade. Um, and obviously, you know, the 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 trade was in place, um, you know, and it, it, it got executed. Um, <clears throat> but this is very, very um, big, big news, especially if you're a fan of any of the teams in the AFC West. Um this is, I don't care what Chiefs fans say. I don't care what, you know, what they make of this. And, and, and this is going to hurt the Chiefs very, very, very deeply. Um, <clears throat> Tyreek Hill is the cog. He's the reason why the Chiefs offense runs um, at the level that it runs at. Um, he's the fastest guy in the NFL. Uh, you know, I think if you line him up, you know, if you look at some of the other fast guys, you, you if you line them all up, Tyreek Hill is going to win, you know, every single race. Um, he's the fastest guy in the league. Um, probably, you know, I don't think just 40 time, but his his speed and his acceleration allows him to get to his top speed within a couple of steps. And I think that's why he's so dangerous. So, you know, those Mahomes to Hill, you know, those five-yard slants where he cuts it back and reverses field, um, and he ends up gaining, you know, 20, 30 yards off of that stuff. All of that's going to be gone. And that is a huge part of Kansas City's offense. Um, you know, even though those plays are not uh, scripted that way, um, it allows Kansas City to kind of get rolling. You know, you 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 have that type of play going on, um, you know, it throws the defense off. It, 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 it creates... Um, uh, you know, somewhat of a panic as far as, you know, the, the, the defense that's playing you. You know, you can prepare for Tyreek Hill. You can you can scout team him all you want to, but it's different, you know, when you actually get out there on Sunday and uh, he's running past, you know, your your best defenders. Um, this is going to hurt the Chiefs. It, it, it really is. Um, the Chiefs have, you know, they've made some, some wide receiver signings. Um, and I think, you know, that was one of the things, and, and I was – going to make a video um sometime this week about the Chiefs signing wide receivers and what what it means for for you know Tyreek Hill or McCole Hardman I knew that they were going to lose one of those guys I wasn't expecting Tyreek Hill but the Chiefs had signed uh Juju Smith-Schuster um the news broke the other day that they signed Corey Coleman he's a first round pick with the Browns um I think he played with the Giants as well uh but he's been out of football for for over a year so with all of these wide receiver signings, um, some you know somebody is going to. I knew that somebody was not going to be on the roster. You know you can't have that many wide. They teams typically don't have that many wide receivers. Um, so I thought something was afoot there. I thought it was going to be McCall Hardman, but you know it's Tyreek Hill. Um, this is a big, big move, man. This is a big move. I don't think that this can be under. Um, I really don't think this can be under um, reported. I don't think it can be understated. How big of a move this is, um, especially for the teams in the AFC West. Um, even if Tyreek Hill was there, the Chiefs haven't really gotten better. Um, and I pointed this out on another video. They haven't really gotten better. Um, they kind of stood pat, you know, because of salary cap implications and whatnot. Um, you know, the Juju signing was, you know, it. He's a name, but I don't think he's going to change life there in Kansas City. Um, they basically haven't really done a whole lot, you know, but everybody else in the AFC West has gotten better. The Chargers have gotten better. Um, they solve all their defensive issues pretty much in free agency. Um, 
the Broncos, you know, they acquired Russell Wilson, you know, the the first real quarterback that they've had since uh, Peyton Manning left. Um, and the Raiders, you know, they acquire uh, Devontae Adams. Um, they sign uh, Chandler Jones. Um, those teams have gotten better, and they've made the concerted effort to get better. Um, you know, it, it is an arms race in the AFC West, and, and you know, when 75% of the division has gotten better and the Chiefs are kind of just staying pat where they were, um, it was already concerning. But now this is extremely concerning. Um, now, the Chiefs can, and, you know, they're, they're a smartly run organization. Um, you know, obviously they wouldn't have had success if they weren't, you know, um, a smart organization. So I think now with, you know, Tyreek Hill, you know, off the books and his, his contract off the books. I think now they should pivot towards defense. Um, offensively, you know, there are still some receivers out there. There's Julio Jones. He's available. There is a uh, Odell Beckham. He's available. Um, but I think they have to they have to spend some of their resources, most of their resources now on defense. Um, the Kansas City defense struggled last year down the stretch in the playoffs. Um, you know, you look at the playoff games that they played, the last two playoff games, the defense could not get off the field. Um, you know, Buffalo, Josh Allen really just ripped them and shredded them to pieces. Um, you know, the whole overtime thing, you know, that, that was, a um, you know, a big story at, at, at that point, but Josh Allen really shredded the defense and, and the Bills played well enough to win that game. It's just overtime rules. Um, they favored Kansas city, um, you know, in that game. And even in the Bengals game, the Bengals didn't score um, a bunch of points. They didn't put up 40 points or whatever, but the Chiefs defense could not get off the field um, when they needed to on crucial third downs. There, there was a, a couple times where Joe Burrow was able to um, extend the drive with his legs. You know, he was able to move out of the pocket and hit some of his receivers for, um, you know, crucial first downs. Um, or they were able to, to run the ball, you know, especially towards the, the end of the game in the second half, the, the Bengals were, were able to run the ball. They're ripping off some good runs. Joe Mixon was ripping off some good runs. Some IJP Ryan, they were ripping off good runs. Um, the chiefs defense was lacking and they need to pay more attention to that. And I think with Tyreek Hill's, uh, contract off the books, I think they, they're able to now, um, I expect them to, like I said, they they are a smart organization. Um, you know, they don't, they don't typically make, you know, bad moves as far as, um, you know, personnel is concerned. Um, but I expect them to focus more on defense, use some of the resources, um, to shore up the defense. If they don't, it's going to be a long season for them. Um, as talented as Patrick Mahomes is without Tyreek Hill, this allows now teams to come up and double um, Travis Kelsey. It, it, it allows you, the, the person that you would have, the extra person that you would have paying attention to Tyreek Hill is now coming up to uh, jam Kelsey or to, you know, keep him, uh, you know, keep his, his, his yards after contact down. Um, he's, you know, they're, they're, they're going to be able to pay more attention to him now. Um, McCole Hardman is another fast guy that they have, but, he is not, um, he doesn't run the traditional routes that, you know, the other receivers do. You know, he's used more in gadget plays and stuff like that. Um, you know, maybe they feel confident that he, he'll be able to fill in the Tyreek Hill role. Um, he's, he's almost just as fast as Tyreek Hill, but we haven't seen that from him. And he's been in the league now for, what, three or four years. So um, I'm not sure if that is something that, you know, the Chiefs are looking at. Maybe, possibly they are, but... I just know that this 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 Tyreek Hill trade is huge. It is huge. Um, if you're in, if you're a fan of any of the other three teams in the AFC West, like I am, you know, uh, I'm happy about this. I'm happy to see this guy leave the division. Um, I was sick and tired of dealing with him. I'm, you know, sick and tired of him outrunning, um, you know, defenses in the division, and and you know, him not doing, you know, and he had several games where. You know, he would not get targeted or he wouldn't do anything. And then, you know, the second quarter comes around, third quarter comes around, and he's got 100 yards receiving just in that quarter because he took a five-yard slant, uh, you know, reverse field and, you know, turned it into a 50-yard gain or something like that. It, it, I got sick and tired of seeing that. 
This dude is fast. He's fast. So I am happy, happy as hell to see him leave this uh, this AFC West division. Um, this bodes well for the Chargers and especially all the defensive, um, you know, adjustments that the Chargers have made and the defensive personnel that they brought in. Um, this bodes well for the Chargers um, and the Broncos and the Raiders as well, too. But like I said, if you're a Kansas City fan, man, there's really no way to downplay this. You guys lost one of the most explosive players um, in NFL history. There hasn't really been a guy like Tyree Hill um, in NFL history as far as speed goes. Speed is concerned. There's, there really has not been a guy um, that has been, you know, this fast week in and week out um, and, and durable as well, too. You know, he's a, a smaller dude in stature, but he's built. He's ripped, uh, you know, and he he's 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 like a tank, you know. He he plays he plays a good percentage of the games. Um, I've only seen him miss one or two games, so Miami's getting a dude that's gonna, you know, he he should work well with with Tua Tagovailoa, and he should open up that offense. You know, there's gonna be open guys down the field. Tua should really really thrive this coming season with Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle. You know, both these dudes are fast as hell. Um, there should be no reason why Tua, you know, and they upgraded the offensive line as well, too. There's no reason why Tua should not ball out. Um, and there's no reason why the Dolphins shouldn't make the playoffs this season either. But um, this was a very, very, very interesting trade. Um, very exciting for me. I'm happy. Get this guy out of AFC West. Bye-bye. Um, and um, also, he got paid, too. He got paid. I just seen the, the news uh, broke. He agreed to a four-year um, seventy-two million dollar is guaranteed, and I think it's a hundred and uh ten million or something like that total contract value. But um, he's getting paid going to Miami as well too. So, um, congratulations to him, man. He 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 really does deserve it. He he is one one of one in the NFL. Um, and he made that Kansas City offense go. They are going to miss him dearly. Um, but I am not. So um. I'm happy right now. To, to be honest with you, I'm really happy as a Charger fan. But um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. This was a uh, – <laughs> this this has been a crazy offseason. Um, but I love it. I love all the news. I love talking about it. Um, I love covering it all. So um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Um, yeah, hit the comments. Let me know what you think of this trade. Um, especially if you're a fan of the AFC West, let me know what you think of this trade because this – this bodes well for all of us, um, you know, so yeah, you have a reason to be excited, but uh, that's all I got on this one, guys. Until next time.